recognize the recording. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Shweta, for that wonderful introduction. And uh, Japanese, hello, how are you? And a, a very good evening, happy good evening to all my listeners now. Zivia, yes, today is a great beginning for us to start this uh, Zivia IVF Center. And as Shweta described, we want to see that the proper infertility IVF treatment with all its advanced technology reaches to people everywhere in India and God willing, even abroad. We all want to know many things about IVF. Now with Google around and with so many patients undergoing the IVF treatment, there are so many misconceptions. Log itna samajhte hai ki IVF to kya aapke paas paisa zyada hai, isliye fake dena hai. IVF will never give a result. IVF mein bachcha khud ka nahi hota hai. Why should we undergo IVF? We can also conceive naturally. Humko IVF kyo karna padega? I am normal. My husband is pretty normal. Everything is fine with us. Humko IVF nahi chahiye. And people tend to delay. What we all know that once you are married, you will definitely get a baby because all around we see that anybody like our friends, our relatives, everybody has had a child so easily. Or jab aap te aati hai ki humko bachcha nahi ho raha hai, ek saal try kiya. Like couples are too much engrossed right now. Ki first we want to settle, we want to then think of a baby. Humko bachche ki abhi responsibility nahi chahiye. And by the time, because man mein feeling hai ki whenever I want a baby, I can have it. And all around we see that whenever you are planning a baby, people get it. We are five of us get got married the same time around. Sabko bacha hua to me mujhe bhi ho jayega. But then it is not that. There can be issues and the earlier you address an issue and earlier you look for a fertility treatment, your results are better and you get a baby with your own egg, own sperm and in your own uterus. As I told you, IVF ke baare mein patient jab aate hai, mein poochti hu, IVF ka pata hai, we know everything about IVF. They feel that we pay this much of money, we are 100% getting a baby, there is no failure in IVF or they feel the other way around ki नहीं IVF में तो किसी को रिजल्ट आता ही नहीं क्योंकि जो लोग IVF करवाते हैं जिसको whoever gets a positive result is not going out in the open and saying that IVF से बच्चा रुका they want to show to the world that oh we got a baby naturally we didn't have to go for an IVF or any treatment और जिनको नेगेटिव जाता है वो बार बार सबको बोल रहा है कि नहीं IVF में नहीं आता है रिजल्ट इट्स अ नेगेटिव or the people are afraid that itne sare injections honge, safe hai, painful hai, or it is only for rich, poor, cannot have it, or maybe we'll only get twins and multiple pregnancy. So I'll just clear a few doubts today about IVF. Why it is a boon for couples seeking fertility treatment. And earlier we do it, it is better. As we know that one in six, and now they are saying one in five couples will face a fertility issue. And we all know that first IVF baby was born in 1978. And since then, eight million babies have been born. And the IVF baby, Louis Brown herself got pregnant naturally and delivered a baby. So that means IVF mein bachcha jo hota hai, koi dusra aisa nahi hota ke usko bhi problem honne wali hai. The first IVF baby conceived, delivered naturally. So IVF is a safe treatment. You get healthy babies in it. And it could be the only option for you. So go for the diagnosis and go for the treatment earlier than later. Now infertility we know is not Everyone infertile. Only six may say one couple is infertile. The reason could be advanced age. Just in men, go. every two months they produce sperms, even at the age of 50, 60. But females are born with a number of eggs. 
In Indian scenario, after the age of 32, the number of eggs reduce. And after the age of 35, they become abnormal. So the more advanced your age when you get married, there is a chance that your egg reserve is low and your chances of getting naturally pregnant could be lower with a high miscarriage rate. Stress. In today's life, there is so much of stress right from if you are working, if you are in a society where there is a lot of peer pressure, or if you are stressed out because you are obese or you are very thin, any problem, the stress will give you a infertility. You have to de-stress yourself. Unhealthy diet. Either there are females who, or men also who are overweight or female and men both who are underweight. Females especially maintaining a zero figure is not good. Smoking, alcohol, drugs, not good. Too much of caffeine intake. And for men, too much of exercise and to put on those muscles. You take the supplements, they may not be good for you. And this is the real bedroom scenario in this time. You are so engrossed with all your virtual world, the WhatsApp, the Facebook, the Insta. Even in a bedroom, you are physically together, but you are not together. You are busy in your own world. And the less of physical contact you have, the chances of infertility are higher. So this, by the time you are 30 and by the time you are 40, you have got very, very low egg reserve. So if you are suffering from infertility, you should know that between 20 and 30, you should start planning to have a baby. All my patients, I tell them first baby before the age of 30. So you should understand that your body is prepared to have a baby between the age of 20 and 35. And the older you grow, the number of eggs drop down. And by the time you are 45, 49, the eggs are really, really very low. And this is a real chart which shows that your chances of conceiving baby drops drastically. Just 15% when you are this age and this is just 20% when you are 38. And when you are 36, you have just 25% chance. So it is very important that you plan your baby early. For the men also, they should be very particular about the sperm quality. All the vices should be stopped. They also have a biological clock. Stop the high body weight, not excessive gymming, and no over tight clothing, and that any clothing which raises the temperature in the scot uh, scrotum. A big assisted reproductive technology, that is the IVF. Let us look at this. Normally, it is in a petri dish that an egg will meet the sperm or an embryo garb panega. Normally, a female ko kya hota hai ki if their cycles are very periods are regular, 28 days cycle, to naturally one egg produce hoga chahe right ovary me ya left ovary me and that egg will get released around the 14th day. Wo uske body me 36 hours survive hoga. The sperm intercourse ke baad jo uske uterus me jata hai that will survive for 48, maximum 72 hours. So if around 14th day of cycle, they did not have a relation for 5-6 days, the chances of pregnancy are low. Now for IVF, what we would want is at least 10 to 15 good quality eggs. But ovary is producing only one egg naturally. So what we do? First day or second day of period, we give gonadotrophin hormone injections. So that that jo eggs ovary may pade hai, basal enteral follicle, say around six, six or eight, seven in each ovary, all of them will simultaneously start growing. Naturally, brain will produce only that much hormone ki ek egg bane. But we want about 10, 15 good quality eggs. 15 is an ideal number. So for that, we start gonadotrophin injections from day one and continue that for 10 days. In between, sixth day, eighth day, we do a scan to see the sizes of the follicles and the hormones in the body and the endometrial thickness. By the time the follicle size in the ovary reaches 18, 19 millimeter, we give an HCG injection or agonist injection, which is called trigger. 
नॉर्मली एग निकालने के 36 सिक्स आवर्स बिफोर वी गिव दैट इंजेक्शन एंड देन ऑन द डे ऑफ एग रिट्रीवल एग निकालने का ओवम पिकअप बोलते हैं we call the patient 34 hours after the trigger normally it's in the morning and under small short anesthesia just heart make injection lagega we put the patient to sleep and then the eggs are retrieved transvaginally jaise andar se sonography karta hai waise hi there are no cuts no stitches and it is relatively painless procedure the injections are also given beneath the skin the hormone injection gonadotropin so that is also not painful and patient can even take it on their own once the eggs are collected the husband gives the sperm and that egg and sperm is mixed in a test tube or we go for advanced technology like icsi and mc abhi ivf kiske liye hai to tubes blocked male sperm count is less than 15 million 15 sometimes even less than 20 when the sperms are not coming out due to blockage severe endometriosis or even grade 3 grade 4 polycystic ovaries when whatever you do she will not ovulate egg banega hi nahi either you get number of eggs or they stop growing then advanced age of the female unexplained infertility when one of the partner has hiv there is ovarian failure egg banta hi nahi to donor egg leke ya menopausal patients donor egg leke we do the ivf so the basic ivf treatment will have a pre ivf treatment when you visit the clinic you have undergone iua you have undergone um, ovulation induction tubal testing ho gaya hai tubes are patent laparoscopy ho gaya hai everything is normal then unexplained or we have diagnosed something that the male sperms are low or the tubes are blocked then or there is endometriosis pcos so first pre ivf treatment is the consultation and counseling and a good holistic approach we would advise you to take healthy green vegetables avoid any drugs or alcohol or smoking go for supplements like multivitamins folic acid for men zinc is very important coenzymes a very healthy lifestyle even your sleep pattern and when you get up no late nights no party no much too much of time on electronic gadgets exercise yoga you can also do aerobics and then the patient is called on day one of the periods to start the injections after all blood work up if you find there is hormone imbalance we try to collect correct it And then the egg collection is done on the twelfth day, fertilized, and embryos jo banta hai that is then transferred. Or if there are a lot of embryos or your progesterone has gone high, we preserve the embryos or cryopreservation and then transfer it in the next cycle. It is a day care procedure. You do not need any hospital overnight admission when you are doing your IVF. But positive attitude. is very very important hippocrates has said that not natural forces within us are the healers so if you go with that positive attitude you are sure to get your result so this is how the monitoring then trigger retrieval and the embryo transfer and after the embryo transfer is done there is lot of support given when we do pre ivf work up we at zivia would definitely aim at a proper counseling a proper result information that what is your problem why you need ivf why other treatment is not going to give you equally good result what is your fertility awareness you never knew you thought you are 28 and i'm still very young but your ovaries are gone low or your tubes have been blocked either for with an appendix surgery or some infection healthy lifestyle you never consider then all the supplementation and all the investigations will be done and we will definitely tell you that what are the limitations of your treatment what treatment we propose is there any side effect what technique we are going to use we'll compare it with other other available treatment costs shall be very transparent you will know that this is the cost you will pay and you end up paying there we will give you the realistic answer to the success rate we will not say that it's 100% success yes 
some patients we say it's 35 percent per cycle but in three cycle 90 percent you are sure to get a pregnancy some patients will say your 10 percent chance some 50 percent multiple pregnancy we will discuss and if you do not want one blastocyst transfer how we can maximize your chance of getting a result and advantages and disadvantages of all the attempts this is the way you take the injections these are the typical follicles when we see and we check the blood flow and this is the trigger shot and egg retrieval will take and we have tried to make the zevia very patient friendly and a very nice atmosphere so that when you walk in you don't feel you are coming to a hospital because actually the infertility patients are not sick patients they are just like any other normal person so the atmosphere also we are going to provide the same way the retrieval procedure from taking you to the OT to bring it out is maximum 30 minutes. You may wake up with a little bit of discomfort, but by the time you go home, you are pretty much normal and back to work the same evening or the next day. And you can resume all other activities. This is ICSI. When the sperm count is very low, when the zona is very thick and we target to do for most of our patients, so the, the embryologist will take a call, how many IVF, how many ICSI, and we can even enlarge the sperm and see which is the best normal. In conventional IVF, we just put the sperms over the uh, eggs in a petri dish, but in an ICSI, there is a spatial needle, and this is a very important thing that the embryologist should know. The less you expose the eggs, the less you expose the fertilization time, the better is the chance of the success. So in the needle, we'll pull out one sperm and then we will inject that sperm into the needle just opposite this pronuclei. This is the sperm which will go inside after taking some cytoplasm. So this is very important. You should understand that the IVF lab is the heart of an IVF clinic. The best possible class 100 lab with the best equipment and the best person behind the equipment is the one that is going to give you the result. So it's like there are many IVF centers, but harvesting the eggs, deciding the injections, which injection to use in the lab, which technique to use, which egg will need just IVF, kis mein ICSI karna hai, is very, very important. MC again, and these are the embryo development. This is the day one fertilization. Then you have a two cell embryo, four cell, multiple cell. This is a morula and this is the excellent blastocyst. Laser assisted hatching, yes. When we find that the zona is very thick, we try to cut the zona with laser and then allow the space for the blastocyst to come out. Now there are embryo transfer whether to do on day three, day five, world over day five and blastocyst is the best. But we have to decide, we have to take a call that all patients may not benefit. There are patients who have poor ovarian reserve, very bad sperm count, where we need to transfer also on day three and we still get results. So it's not a blanket standard idea. Sab ke liye ek Aisa nahi hai. Each couple, each patient is different. Sabka IVF hota hai, but IVF is a general term. Usme itna kuch hota hai where it is very important for the clinician, for embryologist to decide what is the best for you and what will give you the result. Embryo transfer ke time, we call you with a half full bladder. And nowadays we do a lot of transfer, general transfer. So if a female has a problem keeping the bladder full, we will go transfer generally, check the uterus, check the cervical canal and transfer the embryo. You are not given anesthesia, rest for two hours and you can go back. Then how many embryos to transfer? Normally day three, we can go up to two or three and a blastocyst one. Lot of embryo freezing can be also done. There are patients who with PCO, with endometriosis, where we do repeat cycles, we have to freeze the blastocyst and frozen blastocyst, frozen day three embryos also give equally good result. Post transfer, there is like, should I rest 100% in the bed? But no, it's not necessary. 
after one day of rest, you can just resume your duty maximum to do your routine work, but see that you don't do very high impact physical activity. We give you progesterone as tablets or injections or pacers, and you continue with that. Risk of hyperstimulation is minimum because now we have trigger shots where we can totally avoid it. And the cost, I, each center will have a different cost. At Zivia, we have tried to make it a very patient-friendly approach so that more and more patients can get this service of IVF. Hysteroscopy, laparoscopy, sometimes before IVF is needed if there are fibroids or bio, uh, polyps inside the cavity. Not all patients of IVF will need hysteroscopy, but definitely there is a group of patients we will need eye hysteroscopy. If there are fibroids, endometriosis, adhesions, then we may need to do a laparoscopy also. Pre-implantation genetic testing is PGTA for abnormal embryo or for any monogenic disease like thalassemia major, if you want to avoid it, then we do it. And we do also a lot of regenerative medicine. There are a number of factors which affects your cycle from egg quality, sperm quality, age of the female because of the egg, the embryo transfer skill, the lab. Lab quality is very, very, very important in egg retrieval skill and of course the experience. Now PGTA, I will not go much into details, but we can do this and identify a normal blastocyst only to be transferred. Then PGTM, if there is any disease running in the family, like albinism, thalassemia major. Then third-party reproduction, egg donation, embryo donation, surrogacy for females who do not have eggs. Even at 50s now, you can conceive. Even after menopause, you can conceive because all we need is a healthy uterus. You have stopped menstruating, no issues. These all are menopausal women who have conceived embryo donation when egg and sperm both are of poor quality or the uterus has been removed or you are born without uterus, severe fibroids repeatedly removed. And there are women with medical conditions where we can do surrogacy. One is, myth. now let us talk a little bit about myths of IVF. IVF can deal with all infertility problems. Majority, yes. But you should also understand that nature has its role to play. It's not for rich and famous. That is why we Zivia are there to help each and every couple with this treatment. It's not that young couple. Young couple will have a higher success rate. After the age of 35, because of the egg quality, it goes down. But if you use donor egg, your success rate is almost 60%. It's never 100% guaranteed packages are not 100% guaranteed, but yes, we can always say that each couple who tries in three cycles, maximum 90% results are there. Or right from day one, we can tell you that your chances are very low. But overall, 30 to 40, but cumulative success rate in two cycle, three cycle, that's why we prefer two cycle package, three cycle package, where the chances are maximized to 80 to 90%. IVF children are not born with malformations. It is the same as any other conception. It is safe and the results is in varied multiple pregnancy. It is not like that. You not, do not need to be admitted even for a day. It does not end up with cesarean. We have our IVF babies born naturally about 30 to 40 percent. But the thing is, the couple and the wife is so scared of losing the baby during labor, she doesn't want to take that chance. We counsel them that you can go for normal delivery. There is no issue unless there are placenta previa or it is a breach. But the patient herself is so scared that she would brush for a cesarean. So world over, so many babies have been born, 10 million cesarean. Female age, younger age, better results because the egg quality is better with comorbidities like fibroids, vagera, at the endometriosis, laparoscopy, hysteroscopy. And believe me, IVF is the most simple and minimally invasive procedure. Earlier you do it, better is the result. Pre-IVF treatment workup counseling should be very thorough. Just don't rush into it, healthy lifestyle. And as I said, you are late. No, you are not late. Even if you are late, it is better late than never. Always go ahead, meet the doctor 
and try to find out the best technique that you need for IVF and get that baby that you are wanting. Become parents from patients. Zevia IVF is there to hold your hand and make you parents from patients. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you very, very much for this enlightening uh, talk. Ma'am, I have a few questions. Uh, maybe the presentation can be stopped. Uh, yes. So ma'am, we have some questions from our uh, viewers here. Um, I will just take a few questions and if you can just answer. Do we transfer on day three or blastocyst? Uh, look, that depends. Supposing this patient is of an older age, 41, 42, 39, and has given just five to six eggs, and we are getting just three embryos on day three, but the quality is good. I would prefer to transfer on day three. If the first time day three doesn't work, then only second time we go for a blastocyst and see whether it develops or not. If it is a blastocyst, transfer preferably one, maximum two, but never more than two. Okay. Ma'am, there's a question from a person from Jaipur. In what case IVI gets success? IVI. IUI or IVI? IUI. He's written IVI. Mr. Jindal, can you just uh, sir, clarify? Is it IVF or IVI? Okay. We'll wait for that question to come again. Um, in day three, how can embryo, how many embryos are transferred? Uh, day three, again, I said it depends on the grade, whether it's A, B, C, D. When it's a blastocyst, it's 4A, 4A, B, like that. So in day three, I would say the younger female, we can stop at two, say less than 32 years. More than 32 years in Indian scenario, we go even up to three and you transfer on day three. Great. Uh, what is the success rate for IVF cycle? I think this is one question which comes every time. <laughs> yes, it depends mainly on the age of the female because Younger age of the female and good sperm count, the results are very good. I would say less than 32, I always put it as 50%. 32 to 35, I would balance it, see the AMH level, see the number of eggs, and I will put it at 40. Above the age of 35, then it drops to 30%, 25%, 20 And by the time you are 40, it's just 15, 20% maximum per cycle. Wow. So ma'am, if a person fails in IVF totally, and then is there any hope for having uh, children? Whether you'll believe I've done IVF for a patient who had 14 failed cycles and the 15th cycle she had a baby. Oh my so God. what is there that you have to evaluate each cycle, analyze each cycle, and then decide the right approach for the next cycle. It's never an end. But yes, if there is egg donation needed, sperm donation needed, then we can do it. Or I have even told a patient after three cycles that stop trying, go for surrogacy or go for adoption. Right. So basically, the point is that you can get a baby. You know, if you're just, you don't give up, you can get a baby. Ma'am, why do you use anesthesia when it's painless? This is a question from... Uh, yeah, it's, it's a very interesting question. World over, they are doing it mostly without anesthesia. But in India the availability of the anesthetist is there and the patient just gets a prick in the head. So the patients themselves would want a post-procedure where she doesn't even, is not even awake to see that what is being done. Because I get a lot of patients from abroad who had an IVF egg retrieval done without anesthesia and they said that, no, it was not a comfortable feeling. I would rather prefer to do it under anesthesia. So when we have that luxury in India, I would always offer that to a patient. I do without anesthesia also, if the patient has a medical condition where anesthesia is a risk. But otherwise, it is painless. I mean to say that egg retrieval is also painless. But then we have to give a local anesthesia and you have to give you certain sleeping uh, injections where you go off to sleep. So rather than doing that, I just give the anesthesia and in 30 minutes you are up and about. Right. And there are no major side effects of anesthesia. No, it's a very short GA, what we call propofol anesthesia. Right. So uh, this question was about IUI, that yes. uh, what are the chances of success for IUI? And it says nothing is told about expense. So uh, Mr. Jindal, you know, as we said, we look ये चाहते हैं कि ज़्यादा से ज़्यादा लोग अपनी खुशियाँ पाएं तो हमारी जो 
कॉस्टिंग है वो जयपुर में जो सेंटर्स हैं उनसे बिल्कुल ज्यादा नहीं है इनफैक्ट उनसे कमी होगी हमारी इट विल स्टार्ट फ्रॉम वन पॉइंट थ्री फाइव लैक्स टू वन पॉइंट फाइव लैक्स सो दैट इज द कॉस्टिंग मैम आई यू आई यू कैन प्लीज से इन वॉट कंडीशन आई यू आई यू आई इज द फर्स्ट स्टेप दैट यू वुड लाइक टू टेक वेन द मेल हैज अ स्पर्म काउंट ऑफ फिफ्टीन मिलियन लोएस्ट आई वुड से टेन मिलियन नॉट लोअर देन दैट एंड द फीमेल हैज बोथ द ट्यूब्स ओपन and is a pretty young age with both the ovulation being regular or with uh, oral ovulogens or gonadotropins who ovulate ho jati hai to us scenario mein agar naturally pregnancy nahi rehti hai to two three times we start try ovulation induction but she is not getting pregnant then we do the iui where the sperms are prepared and put inside the uterus so that sometimes if the sperms cannot travel through cervix inside the uterus the it can reach there or if we have got two three eggs they release and there are more sperms right at the time when the egg is released the chances of conception increase so in ideal patients iui can give a success of 18 to 20% with oral ovulogens or if we use gonadotropin injections for to make the egg dusre din se injection shuru kar de low dose mein to chances are 33% 